because I needed to get it. A little bit more about if I need to add a light gingerbread cozy. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Griselda and today we are doing an espresso taste test and review. I finally got gingerbread. I told myself I wasn't gonna get it or I was done buying holiday coffees, but apparently I'm a liar because I needed to get it. I'm just really excited and then the box is so pretty. It's just so pretty. So let me share a little bit about it. It is a coffee. So it is 7.7 .7 ounces, 230 ml. And so let me read a little bit about it on the back and I'll put it somewhere here probably. The lights weren't even on for you. So why we love it, Barista Creations Gingerbread. The gingerbread flavor runs through our smooth base blend of Latin American and African Arabicas. That spicy taste is a warm complement to the coffee's rounded cereal note. Insider tip, adding a dash of milk enlivens that ginger flavor all the more. Okay, a little bit more about the pod is the roastiness is two, acidity is one, bitterness is one, and the body is two. And then the aromatic profile is a wide range of spices notes defined by cereal and ginger on a smooth base blend of Latin American and African Arabicas. The origin, uh, welcome, welcome the spicy gingerbread flavor, a warm compliment to your coffee's rounded cereal note. And the roasting of it is the Arabica coffees in Barista Creations gingerbread are split roasted the brazilian beans are roasted medium dark and quickly to develop their sweetness the second split gives the this for two flavored flavored coffee it's a velvety texture we add the gingerbread flavor in after roasting something else to know if you are not aware or not familiar but any of these special edition like holiday coffees they're half calf so like the pumpkin spice, peppermint pinwheel, all of those were half caps. So just kind of an FYI. Today I'm gonna do something that I've never done before and I, and I always wanted to do, but I just never did, I don't know why. I'm going to brew two pods. I'm going to brew one hot. And I got, if you watched my vlog previously to this one maybe, or two before this one, I'm also going to brew it iced with this cute little tree. It's gonna look hilarious in this mug because this is, I think this is like, over 20 ounces and this is it but we'll see i am planning to do just oat milk like plain oat milk like froth it and if i need to add if i need to add a syrup i will add it then uh, but i have this on hand in case i do need to add but i might not or i might do something else just depending on what it tastes like i'm gonna try it hot like the the crema and the coffee itself and see how it is and then and then pour it over ice and we'll see how that goes. So I'm nervous and excited. I read the whole thing off the box and I shared all that roastiness, but I forgot to show you the actual capsule. So it looks like this. So pretty, like, I don't know, almost like snowflakes to me. So pretty, I think that's what enticed me to even get this. I just finished brewing, this is what it looks like. Just like this. It doesn't smell like anything, it just smells like coffee, it doesn't really smell like anything. Mmm, I taste the ginger. That's good. <laughs> Let's try it black. Mm, I taste a little bit of ginger. Okay, not not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna add some. Um, I frothed up. I ended up actually <laughs> combining oat milk and almond milk, with it, which I think will be fine. They're both plain, unsweetened, so. Mix it up. That's really light. That's still very light. Like, very light flavored. It definitely tastes like it has ginger in it, but it is very light. Like it is a very light ginger taste. I'm gonna add, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna do the syrup. I'm gonna try the syrup in, in this one. So I have this, I got this sampler pack, holiday sampler pack from World Market. So I'm gonna use one tablespoon of this. Oh, that tastes, that, it's still very, uh, very light. Like that gingerbread syrup is not a very strong gingerbread flavor. Like I feel like a lot of the Monin syrups are not super, super sweet. They give you that flavor of like whatever 
is on the label, but it's not like overly sweet. And so that one tablespoon, I feel like makes it very, very cozy. But I feel like you can mix this capsule with like almost any flavor. I feel like anything like cozy, like like white chocolate, cinnamon, I think would go really well with gingerbread. And if you don't have this capsule, if you're seeing this and it's out of stock, that's okay. You can make your own. I know I did a reel and I followed Alex Mojica's recipe, which was, I think it was like a teaspoon of, oh no, no, I'm sorry, no teaspoons. I think it was all dash, like a dash of ginger, a dash of cinnamon. Um, I think I added nutmeg into the milk and, and then and poured that milk over like an espresso shot and it was like perfect. Like the ginger powder and the nutmeg cinnamon, it all made it taste very like cozy and like like it really tasted like a gingerbread latte without syrups or capsules like it was just a very cozy gingerbread tasting latte so if you don't have it you could probably get the same if not better flavor from just adding your own spices i feel like i should have done that with a i don't remember what i was saying so don't feel the need to go out and get this if you have those or if you actually you should try that recipe first try and i'll put it down in the comments or i'll put down i'll link my video and her video on the bottom so you could see it because i think she posted it on i saw it on instagram but i think she posted it on youtube too so it'll be down there now we're gonna move on to the iced one let me get let me get some ice in this I'm curious if this this is probably gonna make a mess i'm gonna do this over the sink hold on Okay, so here it is. Let's pour in the rest of the... And then, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I have this Silk Almond Creamer Sweet and Creamy. I'm just gonna do a little splash. I normally don't even use creamer in my videos, but I'm just curious to see the flavor or taste it. I think it needs more. <laughs> I feel like you can't even. Mm, that's really good. It's still super light, like super light, even with that sweet and creamy. But I could probably have it just like this. It's a little bit light compared to this one. I'm gonna end up just pouring it all in here. I think it's pretty good just like this, just with a little bit of sweet cream. Okay, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. A little bit more of this gingerbread. Just a little bit, like that little tiny, tiny bit. Mm, that's good. Wow, that's actually really delicious. I'm glad I had some. Okay, so final thoughts on the gingerbread Nespresso. I think it tastes really good. I think it is very light, which I actually kind of like because it has enough of that like spicy ginger flavor that I could add other things to kind of change up the flavor a little bit. So it's not like, I mean, I know it's called gingerbread, but it's not like, <laughs> like peppermint pinwheel or pumpkin spice that is very specific to a certain time of the year like you can't really get away from it it you can change it up a little bit but like it's still very it still is very reminiscent of like holiday season this even though it looks very holiday ish i feel like the pot itself the flavor you could probably you could enjoy that all year long just like this even add like like salted caramel syrup or or even just vanilla like a vanilla syrup with some oat milk or almond milk and it probably tastes amazing i wish i had other creamers i don't know if i've mentioned it before like i essentially have stopped purchasing creamers because i've purchased so many syrups and so i've been really sticking to a plain oat milk almond milk and then adding in syrups as i feel necessary but this is actually really good i would probably add more ginger nutmeg cinnamon and i would add it into the milk before it gets frothed up or foamed up or steamed or whatever you end up doing with the milk but i would i would say that or like elevate the flavor a little bit more and get that truly truly like gingerbread cozy you know <laughs> winter sweater type of feel but i'm i'm enjoying it just like this i will probably after this video i will probably sprinkle it in a little bit just to get a little bit more of that flavor because that's what i'm after right now on this december weekend day i think that's it 
thanks so much for watching i know you guys are probably getting so sick of my vlogmas videos but i'm really challenging myself and trying to get one every single day i'm really trying thanks so much for watching please comment like subscribe to the channel please support thank you so much again and i'll see you next time go drink some coffee